Tuck Tuck. Sorry if I interrupt you, but um, I'm just I know you're drawing and working and all that stuff, but I just want to ask you, what do you want for dinner? Yeah, I'm gonna cook. Yeah, I'm gonna cook. Say what? Huh? <laughs> you want a taco? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now you know what? Okay. <laughs> Now okay. Um, you know that you usually um, correct me about how I say stuff in English, like wit. <laughs> yeah, I I I usually misspell that word. Okay, anyways, um, I'm gonna teach you. Okay, first, it's no, it's act. I'm gonna do it like the meme. Okay, actually, it's taco, no taco. Yeah, it's, I I know usually people say like Taco Bell. Ah, uh, but no, it's taco only. You need to say it with the nose, not with the mouth. Yeah, it sounds weird, but you will get it. You know what? Okay, uh, you know that I don't mm, usually say this a lot, but I really appreciate that you try to speak Spanish even though you don't know. And I'm going. I won't force you to learn it. Because eh, I simply don't care. Like we can speak in English, so it's okay. English, Philippine, all that stuff. And so I'm gonna teach you now some words that I usually use, and you might don't know <laughs> what those words means. Okay. First, um, usually when I can come home, I usually say. Buenas, which is like, hello, can I come in? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's a lot. But yeah, it's like, buenas can means a lot of things. Like, good morning, hello, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah, or you can say como tal. And usually, okay, so uh, my family is from Chile. You know that. So in Chile, they usually cut the the last mm, word like instead of saying como estas they say como tai you know they add i yeah <laughs> sounds weird it is actually but anyways um what else uh burrito how do you say it? burrito okay it, it's it's kind of fine okay it's <laughs> you know, it's it's even difficult for us, the Mexicans and the Hispanic people. You know why? Because the rrr, yes, <laughs> yes, that sound alone, it's so difficult. Like, there's even a um, how do you say this in English? Um, a phrase that is difficult to say because you're gonna get a tongue tied. Like ice cream, you scream, everyone scream for the ice cream. Yeah, that that thing. Okay, I don't know the name. <laughs> yeah, in Spanish it would be something like tres tristes tigres. Tra <laughs> Hold up, tres tristes, tres tristes tri, tres tristes tri. <laughs> you see, <laughs> it's difficult even for me. Tres tristes tigres tragaban trigo en un trigal. Woo! Okay, <laughs> it's um. I'm not going to translate it because it don't make sense when you translate it. <laughs> yeah, it's usually a tongue tied about RR. Yeah, um, what else? Well, you know what? That I usually say, okay, okay, a lot. Like, okay, okay, okay. But I don't say it like in English, like, okay. <laughs> I say it in, in Spanish, which is okay. Okay. And yeah, uh, what else? K, okay, which is what? <laughs> voice crack <laughs> like this which is what I, why am I getting a voice crack over saying what <laughs> yeah okay um what else what else what else ah well amigo which is friend but we usually don't do that say that I mean because it's not like I go to a friend and say oh como estas amigo no because we don't use amigo we use way And okay, 
The difficult part about going to Mexico is that a word can mean a lot, but a lot of things. It depends on the pronunciation. Like, for instance, you can say, oh, how are you? De la verga, güey. And you will say, oh, he's bad because he say verga, which is like dick, and way, which is amigo. You will say, that doesn't make sense. But that, this here, no, oh, whoa, whoa, you, you just hear that? <laughs> whoa, I just say saying, whoa, well, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm dying right now, okay? I'm dying because I'm, I'm combining two language, and I, I just say this here, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, decir, okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, that was the most weird thing. Okay, I, I, you, you will usually get that because I'm combining two language. So, yeah. Um, uh, okay, verga, which is dick, can mean a lot of things too, which, como estas, or, how are you, de la verga, means I'm so fucking bad. But you can say, oh, how are you? Oh, de la verga, wey. Which means it's the same word, but the pronunciation, it's different. That means, oh, I'm super good, mate. What? What the fuck? Okay, okay, I'm dying right now. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know I just say my... What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I just need to say boil water. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Anyways, Salamant. <laughs> mm, what else? Way can mean friend. Way can mean enemy. Like, ese way is mi enemigo a la verga. Yeah, it depends on the pronunciation, as I said. Uh, what else? Mm. You. Ah, wait, you, I can tell you. Um, cariño, which is, uh, honey. <laughs> which is mean honey. Uh, what else? Um, amor, which means love. But usually Hispanic people say, Hispanic people say, what? what? <laughs> love to their couple, like, amor, puedes hacer esto, please. Yeah, something like that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, mm, I don't know, actually. I would say that's all, that's all I have to say for you. Yeah, because um, I'm not going to teach you old Spanish. I'm not going to teach you the bird to be, because I don't even know what's a bird to be, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to make some tacos, okay? Now, say it again. <laughs> what do you want for dinner, babe? Eso, vamos. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> okay forget forget that okay forget that okay okay see ya bye te amo that means i love you by the way <laughs>